Hi everyone, today I'm starting with the Tarte Smoothing Timeless Primer. Um, really good for filling in pores and is really mattifying which is the um, look that I'm going for today. Something more matte and just spreading evenly across my whole face. Prior to this I did do my skincare and pop on my SPF. Next up is eyebrows and I'm using the HD Pro Pencil to just do really sharp um, hair strokes through the brow to darken and define. You sharpen this pencil with a blade and it creates a really sharp edge which allows you to then create really fine soft hair strokes. Use it very very lightly and it just creates those perfect hair strokes. Next I'm brushing with my Brow Tech pencil also from HD and just adding in a little bit of definition underneath the brow. And then repeating with both the Pro Pencil and the Brow Tech Pencil until I'm happy with the finished look. Next I'm going to carve out under my brow using my MAC Studio Fix Concealer. This just helps sort of brighten and define highlight under the brow and is a starting point for prepping my eye area before adding eyeshadows. Once I have added the concealer under my brow, I'm then going to use my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And just using this as an eye base across my whole lid. Once I've applied with my MAC 252, I'm then just buffing in with a Zoeva Synthetic Dual Fibre Brush. And then just back to the eyebrows apparently. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the Tartlet palette using three shades. Using the lightest shade in the palette for the inner corner and just all over to sort of set my eye base. I'm then going to use a light brown to um, just have a, a slight transition before deepening with a slightly darker chocolatey brown, but not doing too heavy a smoke as I want to keep this quite a natural sort of soft smoky eye to really define then with a winged eyeliner. I'm also using uh, under eye sticky pads to set the area for where I want to have my winged eyeliner. These are super cheap. I just got them from Amazon and they just make it really easy um, when doing your winged eyeliner. It takes uh, much less time for me anyway um, when I use these. Stick them on, make sure they're even and in place. Then just buffing in again some of the darker shadow before adding my wings. The liquid liner I'm using today is the NYX Cosmetics Epic Ink Liner. I find this goes on very, very easily and stays in place really well for the duration of your day and night. So I've started with a basic line and I'm just going to add and fill in, sort of curving around the top of the eyelid. Um, if anyone has hooded eyes or, you know, my eyelids are wrinkly and hooded, even though I'm only 30. Um, but yeah, so you just sort of lift and position your eyelids into place and keep adding until you're happy with the finished shape. Next, I'm just adding some quick mascara to my top lashes before applying a set of false eyelashes. The mascara that I'm using is just a really cheap collection 2001 that I picked up a wee while ago and have in my bag. Now that I'm happy with the shape, I'm just going to dry the liner and then peel off my under eye pad. So I've added my eyelashes there by Tarte Cosmetics and up next I'm applying the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. 
For our foundation today, I'm using the NARS Radiant Pro Longwear Foundation. I want to be a bit more matte than I usually go for. Typically, I like to wear NARS Sheer Glow the most, but today I'm going to go for the Radiant Pro Longwear. And just buffing that all into my skin using a Real Techniques brush before blending in further with my Tropic Skincare Precision Beauty Blender. I tend to use beauty blenders to buff in my foundation because I think it gives the best finish. It creates the most sort of flawless look and I have quite enlarged pores, I think, so I find it just helps give the smoothest appearance of my skin. I also, when I'm using a beauty blender, make sure that I soak it completely, um, drench it under the tap and squeeze away any excess water and by soaking it, it just makes the sponge sort of double in size. It becomes much softer and easier to work with and applies the product much better. Next, I'm going to add some definition to my face with a light contour using the Chanel Soleil de Tan Bronzing Cream. This is an absolute favourite product of mine. It's, it's so good to have summer, winter, anytime. On holiday, I like to just use this um, and really nothing else on my face. And then also just blending that in with the same beauty blender before adding in my concealer to highlight the areas that I want highlighted. The concealer that I'm using is MAC Pro Longwear and just adding that to the areas where I want to highlight. Before then again, also just buffing that in. I'm gonna add a little bit extra under the eye area for those eye bags and use the Real Techniques concealer brush. And now adding in a little bit extra underneath my eye to sort of conceal those bags. I have a six month old baby who still likes to get up through the night and um, very early in the morning as well. So not, not the best night's sleep am I getting at the moment. Then going to set that with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, just dabbing it in under the eye area and below the cheekbones and just adding a little bit of the Illuminating Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals. I think everyone who has seen any videos or makeup of mine before know that I love the Illuminating Mineral Veil and just adding that to the sort of areas where I put the concealer before adding my bronzer onto the cheekbones and again around in a sort of three shape on my face, on the forehead and jawline. Then also adding in some of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in medium deep to just sort of define the cheekbones a little bit more and the temple area and again the forehead and jawline. Then I'm going to add some of the NARS Orgasm Blusher which is also a really really popular blusher. Um, just a sort of a nice sort of shimmery pinky colour um, which just sort of finishes off the cheekbones and just adds in a quick spritz of the MAC Fix Plus Original Spray. Under the eyes, I'm just going to add some of the Lancome Pencil Eyeliner just to the very outer corner and then I'm going to buff in with a pencil brush. Ever so slightly, not taking it too far along. Then using the same brush I used for my transition shade and just taking that across the bottom line as well. Not adding any more product, just what was on the brush before then adding mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm also going to then add some of the NYX Cosmetics Nude Eyeliner onto the waterline to help brighten my eyes ever so slightly before then adding some of the MAC Cosmetics Nylon Eyeshadow just into the inner corner and I'm going to highlight the brow bone with this as well. Not too much, just a wee bit, just to sort of give a wee pop of highlight. Then to highlight my cheekbones, I'm going to use the Becca Cosmetics Global Glow and just slightly on the forehead as well and my upper lip. Then ever so slightly a quick dab on the nose before contouring the nose with the 
Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. Just a little dab more on the cheekbones and of course the forehead. And under the lip. For lips today, I'm going to go for a red. I'm using the Tropic Skincare Lip Liner, which has just been released in this gorgeous deep pinky red. So just line in the lips and then I'm going to add in my MAC Cosmetics Matte Russian Red Lipstick to complete the look. So that's my face look completed for today and here are some pictures in daylight. Then I added a black and silver ombre wig and tattoo transfers. These final two photos were taken using the newer studio lights. Thank you and take care.